Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In this uh, video we are going to do a first impression video on an app called Noti. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, probably isn't, but uh, I'm going to take a look at the application. This is a new visual note-taking app that does not involve a subscription, but you pay a one-off fee. Uh, so uh, it is a license either you can pay per uh, per device you're using or they also have uh, a plan for multiple devices but more on the pricing later. Uh, in this first impression we are just going to take a look at how this application works, how it feels like initially uh, and just in general my first thoughts and then I will uh, play around with it for a week or so and I will come back with a more in-depth review just like I've done with apps previously and the next review coming up is actually also a visual note-taking app that one is called Constella but uh, anyways let's actually start off with taking a look at the vision because they've laid it out here so this isn't just supposed to be a note-taking app but also a no-code app builder um and for those of you who have uh, heard that before, uh, it, it feels a little similar to something like Notion. Uh, so you can make mind maps, presentations, prototypes, ebooks, or even websites. Uh, they want to fill the gap between idea and reality. Uh, with the canvas, everyone can be a creator. But I think the main point here is that uh, Noti is uh, a visual thinking tool but also a no code app builder again similar to something like notion uh, so inside of here we have projects and cards and just quickly let's go over the pricing here because that is a little important when it comes to the projects so you can have up to three local projects up to 100 cards all visual creation features pdf annotations and no account or sign up required with the desktop uh, pro plan you get published small projects to web up to 20 megabytes import local files import custom fonts ocr this is actually really good you remove the watermark and you get one device either mac or windows pay once use forever with this one right here you uh, get five devices this is 99 usd this is 49 usd so mac os or windows there is no uh, iphone or android application yet but uh, they say that it is coming um, coming soon it says on their website they also have a publisher plan so you can pay uh, a subscription to uh, publish your projects to the web uh, either eight dollars each month or ninety dollars each year and that actually covers the pricing of this now back to the application so we have the ability to import things here we have the ability to add new projects new cards this feels really like something like Miro that's the vibe I'm getting from this home page and it is seems to be divided into projects journal library and tags and your files are actually stored locally so let's start off with the settings here so i have the general i can see the current version there is license your account backup and storage so i can actually choose a storage location here so i can choose where i want this to be uh, and i can also choose backup uh, location as well so you can control where your files are going to be stored as I said files are stored locally um, we have projects here which is basically whiteboards we have a journal does this is it just me or does this really look like uh, look like heptabase it is exactly the same like journal page as heptabase maybe some small difference uh, but in general it feels like it is exactly the same thing um but uh, you can do backslash functionality here it is block based here as well and you can add a bunch of things so i can add math block today tomorrow code block can i add a task it is actually called a to do inside of here let's just write tests so you can add a to do you can also add a card so i can actually add a card into i can link to a card in my daily pages that's uh fun um 
I can link a card into here. That's that's a cool idea. I like that. Uh, and I can go ahead and I can delete everything. Does it work with Markdown? It does. So it has a Markdown functionality as well. You have a library which allows you to see all of your cards again. Very similar to uh, Heptabase in the way it is set up. Uh, here I can actually um, I can actually search for my cards and uh, I can filter the search both on projects, tags, uh, type of card so that is also a neat thing they have added which makes it easier for you to find your cards or what would actually end up being your notes um, because your notes are inside of cards um, you have tags here as well uh, I will add some uh, let's actually just add one uh, call this resources like this and add a tag here the whole view inside of here, the way the application looks, the UI UX of this really feels like, uh, like Heptabase. It is really similar. Uh, now let's actually add a new project. You can also add a new card from here, but let's add a new project. So this is the whiteboard experience. Uh, and you can give your whiteboard a name. Here you can add uh, text, you can add images. Let's just add a couple of uh, shapes like this and I should be able to write in those shapes and I can do that uh, I can actually draw arrows between things oh it disappeared why did it disappear that wasn't supposed to happen let's try again uh, let's try and add an arrow here so now it works um, you can draw so I can draw like this. This is really hard to do with a mouse, uh, but you can draw. You can add frames. So uh, really a whiteboard experience. They have some presets here uh, and I can also do custom uh, sizes. So really a whiteboarding experience inside of here. I can actually open my library and I can search for things and I can drag things into here as well. Uh, you have something called mind maps let's try and add that as well and i can just go ahead and i can branch out like this that's really cool um so you can do full on mind maps inside of here uh, you can add text uh, and it seems like text can be added everywhere let's actually hit that text button again so you can actually add texts everywhere you can add uh, embeds uh, and supported products are everything from youtube to spotify uh, airtable and figma this figma one would actually be really good in my case um this actually covers most of what this application does let's actually just try and add uh, a file here as well let's add this one uh, this is from yesterday's video and I can go ahead and I can resize this. What happens if I hold shift? Nothing. Um, so I can go ahead and I can resize this. I can also crop it if I wanted to. Again, some presets for you here. So I could do that as well. Um, let's see if this works. If I can drag an arrow from one thing to another. That actually works. And I, when I drag this the arrow should uh, be changed as well. So that works. You have the ability to present inside of here. Let's go back. I can share this either by exporting to PDF, exporting to PNG, save a local copy or publishing to the web, but you need a license to be able to publish it, but I can actually export it to PDF and send it to someone. Um, so that covers the whiteboards uh, and I can add cards from here. Uh, let's just do a test card like this. Test card, add to the board. And here I can actually see all of the cards that are added to the board. Let me try and add one more. So uh, in the left sidebar here, you can actually see all of the cards that are uh, on the board. That is also a really cool feature. In general, I feel like this application uh, feels really, really good. It looks a little too sim uh, similar to something like uh, Heptabase, in my opinion. Uh, 
but it has a couple of features. So think of this as heptabase just with the ability to have like real whiteboards. Uh, because Heptabase does not actually have real whiteboards. It has whiteboarding uh, capabilities, but not real whiteboards. Uh, it has some small bugs to it. I've uh, seen uh, throughout this video and right before the video when I tried to uh, test out the application. But in general, I, I actually really do like this. There are a couple of things I just wanted to test out uh, before I end the video. So I can actually search, it has full text search inside of the whiteboards. That is uh, also a really cool feature. So let's say I had a project and I wanted to search for something, I could actually uh, do that and search for something within the entire whiteboard. That is a cool uh, thing. Uh, it is uh, necessary, but a lot of applications don't pay attention to those details. Um, you get OCR on the paid plan, so you will have to purchase a license for that, so I can test that out. But in general, I this looks really, really exciting, apart from it being very, very similar in the interface to something like Heptabase. But if you have tried out that Heptabase, this might feel really, really easy for you to learn, so that's the good thing. But it is looking like a really exciting application. As usual, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. And stay tuned for the full review of this application. And I hope to see you again quite soon.